waste of a good breakfast. What do you think just got knocked over? Good. Now you're acting sensible. When I was attacked, Derek Buchanan was the only one on the plane wearing sunglasses. We had a little encounter prior to that as well. I was also close to his seat when I was attacked. Hmm. Sounds like the Marshal is the one who attacked you then. Hmm, maybe. But it still doesn't make sense to me. He was killed in the line of duty. Hmm. He may have been involved in something really bad. The Marshal's name starts with a D even more suspicious. But let's say he is the boss behind real blood. Why would he go out of his way to make contact with Zapatero then? I don't know. If he wanted to shut him up, he could just send out someone else. What if he didn't want anyone else to see the courier's evidence? Or maybe he wanted to execute the guy himself for some reason? I mean, sounds plausible to me. So the DEA was also protecting the courier? Yeah, you could say that. I thought as much. So why didn't you tell me? I wasn't hiding it. Just thought too much information at once might confuse you. Teddy, you gotta be kidding me. I got a gun shoved in my face thanks to your little omission. Do you know the name of the agent they were using? I can find out, sure. For now, I only know that there are two of them. One is Olivia Jones. She had a gun, so there's no question about her. That leaves one more. You can find them on your own, right? I've already got a solid hunch. Just how in the loop is the BPD anyway? Enough to carry out a joint investigation. Let's leave it at that. But you don't even know the agents' names. That's for their own protection. I don't need to tell you that undercover work is life and death stuff. Who wouldn't want to keep their names hidden, huh? Have you been investigating the link between real blood and the murder cases? Yeah, uh, something caught my attention. Isn't that Homicide's job? No, it's all narcotics. Is it related to this case? Maybe in the big picture. But you don't need to worry about that now. J just concentrate on the missing courier. Do you think little Peggy's case is also connected to real blood? Who knows? Listen, David. New cases happen every day. Which cases are connected to each other and how? We spend every waking moment of our lives trying to figure out that stuff. Don't hurry to an answer. The truth isn't gonna run away. Huh. What do you think just got... N David, are you out of your mind? You waste what I make, and then you ask me to make you more. Just some coffee will be fine. Oh, why do I even bother? <sighs> fine, fine. Can't start a good day without a good breakfast. Now sit down. I'll let you off easy today. <sighs> what happened with Diana? Why are you asking me that? Hey, you've hardly touched your meal. You know how it is. Same old, same old. 
something more serious than clam chowder this time? This one's a bit different. It'll be okay, David, all right? Things just got a little bit complicated right now. It'll work itself out. It will? Yeah, it, it will. Still, I can't help but feel that all you two ever do is fight. And you never even seem to entertain the notion of splitting up. <laughs> You've got quite a strange relationship. <laughs> well, I may have met her here. But we're both from New York originally. We think alike, you know? <laughs> so, then why all the fights? I guess it's probably my fault. Take, if you will, this hot dog. What's this Frank made from, huh? Pork, right? That's right. Ah. Here in Boston, when you say hot dog, people think pork. But in New York, it's all about beef. In other words, <laughs> for Diana, even hot dogs meet beef. She doesn't like that you eat pork hot dogs? She thinks I've forsaken my hometown. She can't forgive me for that, so she gets all tough on me. <laughs> so she loves you, but she also loves her hometown just as much. Yeah. Will I ever be able to win out against the Big Apple? God only knows. You said it. 